kittens, it's Megan, and I am back with a bullet journal plan with me for the month of September. A lot of things happened during my unintentional hiatus, but I am back and ready to get to work. This is the first month in my new bullet journal, and that in itself is exciting enough, but uh, if you want to see my last bullet journal, comment down below and I might do a flip through. The theme I chose for September is the magical world of Harry Potter. Specifically, the things I would be excited about if I were going back to school at Hogwarts. This theme is very relevant to me, as I have recently started college classes after taking a bit of a hiatus from that too. After migrating a few spreads from my last bullet journal and adding a few student-related ones, we finally arrived to the start of September. On my cover page, I decided to take inspiration from a font that I found on Defont.com to give it that magical vibe. The link is down below. And then I added doodles of some of my favorite things about the Wizarding World, starting with Quidditch, potions, and a chocolate frog card, and its wizard is on walkabout. Mostly just because I can't draw people. One of the things that I had to contend with while I was filming this video was a dying marker, a cat who kept trying to get my attention, and the fact that my attention kept getting caught in my rewatch of Star Trek The Next Generation. I persevered though and continued my monthly spread with a coloring page of my house crest. I didn't end up coloring it in on camera, but I wanted my house to be represented as well as to have a page to color when the mood called for it this month. I have found that coloring during lectures or doodling, even just simple line drawings, help me retain information better.
Next we have my monthly calendar. I thought that the floating boxes fit the aesthetic I was going for. Each box is five squares wide and five squares tall, and on the bottom of the page I included a brief glimpse of a Quidditch game with the stands in the foreground and the goalposts in the back. I'm really pleased with how this spread turned out because while it is extremely nerdy, it is also very clean and minimalistic, leaving lots of room to write things down. Following my calendar, I have my writing log as well as my soundtrack of the month. Down in the corner of my soundtrack page, I included a drawing of an old school phonograph. I was inspired by the scene in the fourth Harry Potter film where Professor McGonagall, I love Maggie Smith, teaches the students how to dance, and I couldn't resist the impulse to add it, all the while chuckling to myself, put your hand on my waist. What? <laughs> One of the best scenes in that movie, I am not gonna lie.
My habit tracker makes an appearance this month by focusing on the subject I would have loved to have studied at Hogwarts, and that is potions. Each habit I'm tracking is less about building a habit than maintaining it. I'm focused on taking my medication for my anxiety and depression, daily meditation, homework, and making my bed on a daily basis. Simple things really, but for someone like me who suffers for anxiety and depression, I really feel like my life is together if I accomplish at least, you know, these four things. My final page of this monthly setup is a quote from J.K. Rowling herself. All a writer needs is talent and ink. Since I am a writer myself, I really felt like this quote was the perfect message to end my plan with me video. That's it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. I know I had a lot of fun planning the content, and I really want to hear from you guys. Comment down below what house you belong to, and let me know what your favorite subject would have been at Hogwarts. If you like what you saw in this video and you want to continue to follow me along on this journey, please click on that subscribe button and ring the bell notification. I look forward to hearing from you and I will see you all next time. Bye!